I took about five minutes to realise that it was you <laughs> when I started watching this movie. And uh, that's the thing. I have watched you in so many movies over the years, from Dead Poet Society, um, Crash, so many movies. And you you inhabit a different person each time. And I know that's what actors do. But so many Hollywood actors really play the same role. And this part, I mean, was it was it one of the most challenging for you? It's definitely one of the most outside the box of my everyday personality. But I have a place in Nova Scotia. And when I read this story, first of all, I've been a fan of Sally Haw Hawkins for a long time. Mm. And so it was strangely, I got this script that Sally Hawkins was already involved in it, shot in Nova Scotia. And Nova Scotia is a place I love. And I know a lot of people up there. And I know, I, I had a vision of who this character would be in my head. Did you know about Maudie and Everett Lewis before? And I have to say, this is based on, on a, uh, true story. a true story. She's a great folk artist. It's what they, you know, she, um, she I, all I knew was that there was this, kind of crippled woman who would lived in Nova Scotia who had painted her house and that her whole house was in the museum. Which, once you hear a story like that, what do you mean her house is in a museum? I never saw it, I didn't know anything more than that, but I, I had heard about that. Because in a way, that's her masterpiece. She and Everett lived in this little, uh, I think it was 14 by 14 house. It's tiny little tiny box little house, Tiny little box it? shack. And she painted the inside of it every year over the years with, you know, fairies and squirrels and ivy and birds and uh, weeping willows. And, and every year she would paint it again. And so. Uh, the neighbors, when when she passed, they moved the whole house into a museum because it's it's really a masterpiece. And you knew that was there, but you I never, knew it was there, I never it seen it. I, I struggled. Like, what do you mean her house is in a museum? But I got to know it through the movie intimately. And and uh, Maudie, um, who who in the movie is played by by the remarkable Sally Hawkins, Sally Hawkins. Yeah. saying very well known in the world of folk art is might be. I mean, she did achieve some notoriety with it. And you have to understand, that's kind of the, the point of the story was that when she and Everett met, she was really just supposed to be his maid, you mm. know? And even when he married her, he just thought she should be a maid. I'll do it for you, the sake you, of it. You know? And he treats her appallingly well, you know, at he, first, doesn't Sadly, he? he probably treats her the way a lot of men treated women in rural areas all over the world mm. at that time, you, you know? And I, and, but it is appalling. But he slowly, her, the power of her and her ability to transform any painful situation. When I read that, I was incredibly moved by it because we often see relationships that are just one thing, but anybody who's been in a long relationship knows that it, it ebbs and flows and who's strong on Wednesday might be somebody who needs to be weak on Sunday. You know? it, it, really, it really did move me and in quite a few points it actually did make me cry. And when she's dancing on your feet, because she has rheumatoid arthritis mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you're dancing with her. And it's the most tender moment that we've seen you, mm -hmm. uh, this character, yeah. Everett, um, up to date. I mean, how unusual is it still, do you think, Ethan, for male stars to actually take on a supporting role in a movie like well, this. Well, just as soon as you say the word stars, you know, in general, you know, it, if you get your ego stroked for a living, to uh, it's always hard for people to play supporting roles when they want to be playing leading mm. roles. I have found, I started doing leading roles when I was a kid. Mm. I mean, a white, I was in White Fang and The Explorers, mm. and um, I had an opportunity to do a lot of leading roles as a young man. And as I've gotten older, I've learned so much more from the supporting parts I've had. I love playing supporting roles and I love getting a chance. There's a couple times in my life, um, you know, you guys mentioned Denzel Washington in the intro, but you know, it was a wonder, when I was doing training day, it was wonderful to be, have the front row seat to what felt like a magnificent performance. Mm. I, I was working with him, but it was not, uh, it was impossible for me not to clock that it was something if you care about acting, something really amazing was yeah. happening. Mm. In front and, of your eyes. In front of you. And I felt that way with Sally. You know, there's a ferocity to her and an intensity and a kindness and an intelligence that's at work in her imagination that is why I want to be an actor. Mm. Uh, there's an insight that she has into people and into situations that I want to be around. Mm. And so I could care. You know, the idea of leading roles is... 
It's not. Do you know what it's we loved about it as well? It's the fact that it's a love story, but it's mm. a very dysfunctional love story, and there's some really hard, you know, <laughs> hitting <laughs> moments like in the film. Like any true love story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, that's right. It reflects. <laughs> it reflects real life. I think so. Now, what about advice that you might pass on to your? Your, your children, your daughter, about, for, uh, about, about acting? About... I, in general, I think that whenever you try to give too much uh, advice to young people, they completely turn off. You come off like a blowhard fool, right? <laughs> and you kind of have to wait for them to ask and to be interested, yeah. you know? And but when, I know they, that one when they do, is, when going, they do, they're already on the way. But one of your daughters is edging in towards the business. I mean, Maya's trying... been linked to the Little Mermaid, hasn't she? She, she's doing her first professional job right now. She's actually doing it for the BBC. They're doing a remake of Little Women, and she's oh, working great. in that. Yeah, oh, so fantastic. that's pretty amazing. And you're over here not just talking about Maldi. You're actually mm -hmm. shooting a new film, but it's a bit different because you're going into comedy, Mama. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What's we'll that see all about? How that goes. Uh, I'm doing a Nick Hornby adaptation, his novel Juliet Naked. Rose Byrne and I are doing it, and we're shooting it here in London. And uh, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a week in, and I'm loving it. Well, that sounds good, and hopefully you'll come back and talk about it. If you'll have me. Oh. It's a deal. All right. Done. You've just said it on the, the telly. You can't go back done. now. All right. <laughs>